living here at this farm every morning I wake up and get out of bed excited to see what today has to offer. I get to choose my own schedule and all the things that we're going to do and I like incorporating my kids and selecting what they want to do for the day. Great, leave me with Finn. Wait, Finn. Wait, just open the stopper. How oh, if he goes in fine. Bye. to today's video and today's mini miracle every day it holds the possibility of a miracle all we have to do is get up go outside and live our dreams to see a miracle Gabby, you forgot to close the stall. Good thing your horse is so well behaved. No, my horse is well behaved. If I left it open like this, when he has nothing in there, he would not walk out. I he know. Would just stand there. Like, I know. You got to train oh, no, all of I our horses. I leave stall open. I leave his stall open like this when I go do things around the barn, and he just stays there. Yeah. He stays at the door like. Mom. Yeah, you're amazing. Last night was the last time we left our horses out at night, just our geldings. And we oh, didn't drink any of this water. No, we're going to be reworking how our little farm is now that the weather is getting warm. The plan would be to keep all the horses together outside at night in this safer area. But I haven't got there nerve wise yet. I just feel nervous with Storm still in the herd. Uh, we still want them to eat grass, but not during the day when it is super hot out. I don't know. I can't figure out what I want to do, you guys. Like, this, having this arena where it's cool all the time and we can open that other door and let air flow through is ideal for keeping the horses during the day. So typically what happens in where we live is that when it gets really hot in the summer, horses stay in and then go out at night. But um, because we have this arena and it's like so usable and so good for keeping cool i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our horses together during the day in the arena like they can go in and out their choice but use the arena as like a shelter and that after supper when the sun goes down it cools down we're gonna put the boys in the grass and let them eat the grass down and then at night put the girls in their stalls or maybe not even put the girls in the stalls like, there's no reason for the, our horses to have to go in their stalls at night in the summer or during the day, like, at, at all in the summer because it's going to be so cool outside. So, I don't know. I think that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to obviously check with my trainer because she tells us everything. poop picking and I've said it before is that is my favorite part of the day because it's peaceful and quiet and it's done in the morning before I get so super hot and it's just the most unbelievably spiritually a peaceful thing that I've ever done in my life. 
I love seeing how our little herd is set up, how Finn is kind of on his own, but he does go with the girls, how the girls are totally in love, and how Storm is the outcast, but he's also the leader, and he's standing over there, making sure everybody's behaving, and I just love the peace of this little family. Well, that's a good vantage point. What would you like to say to the viewers? If you could give them any advice about living your own authentic life, what would you tell them? Don't let your horse get away with things. That is very good advice. If you could give them any advice, Ever. if you could give them any advice about following your dreams, what would you tell them? Get your dream horse. Yeah, dreams are only about dream horses. <laughs> Amen. Amen, sister. Get star stable. Get star stable. So basically, if you cannot get your own dream horse, get your own dream horse on Star Stable. Mm -hmm. Awesome advice. It's easy to speak out of the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending, I'm born like this again. By flu, do you mean that you have a cold or you feel like you're going to barf? I don't feel like I'm going to barf. Just sometimes when I'm walking, I feel like I'm going to get ready to barf, but then I don't. Oh, that's fabulous. If I'm a mad woman. One of the jobs that people love to do is the grain. The grain is done every single day before I even get down here. Like it's not one of the jobs that I have to tell somebody to do. Finn's getting a couple days of butte because he's got a sore hip and we want to just make sure that he's super comfortable. So he's getting, he got it last night and he's yeah. going to get it tonight. Or he's just getting that for a couple of days. Our chiropractor comes on July the 2nd. That worked out really well. When we went to go buy Finn, I was actually a little bit worried about his, that back end, especially that side. Like, I don't know, you could tell that he was stiff and tight back there. And it was one of the big things that made me not want to buy him. But um, our trainer said, you know, this is something that could probably be easily fixed and I believe her and the chiropractor says yes to she did work on that side um, last month and it wasn't completely resolved. It's not something that made him completely lame or anything. It was just like a tight spot for him. So anyway, she's coming on July 2nd and that's and we're gonna get him all fixed up. Game for the reckless. It's so extreme and I don't really care. For any of you guys who are asking, we get requests every single day um, if we have merch, and we do have merch. Sam is in charge of our merch. He works with the company on all of our designs, and he has some new designs that are coming out. But he wanted to tell us something about our shirts, our merch. Tell us about our merch. Our merch. Tell us all the things you just said to me before I turned on the camera. Our merch. Shy okay. boy. Oh my God, we need a shirt name with hashtag shy boy on it. We keep our prices really low. And you'll notice other YouTubers, maybe your shirt is $30, where ours is like 
fifteen. Sixteen ninety nine. Yeah. Or twenty dollars Canadian or twenty two dollars Canadian. Yeah. So, um, if you want merch, you'll see it below on each each video. Yeah, and it's true. So we made merch so that people who want it can have it. Never, ever, 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 ever any pressure. Never, ever any pressure to buy it. We don't honestly care. We That's why we keep our prices super low because a lot of you guys are kids and I don't know, it seems awful to double the price just so that we make a huge profit, right? Yes, it seems horrible that we take all kids' money. Yeah, like who wants to take all the kids' money? No one does. <laughs> Some people do. One thing that I love, and yes, I know it's too small, but I love the spot where we chose to put the chicken coop. I cannot wait to finish it off because basically there's like a canopy of trees back here. This would be such a good spot to come and sit. And there is more space actually, right underneath the gelding's field. But yeah, like I could, I cannot believe it. Like I had so many second guess, I second guessed myself so many times trying to figure out if this is where I wanted them. And eventually when we like make it bigger and go around in this little area, it's gonna be perfect. Look at our girls. You guys are getting so big. Oh, do not come at me, Missy. I know, soon I'll be letting you guys out some. Okay, we're gonna be making a bigger area for you. I promise, just give us time. It takes time. Ah, oh, look how friendly. Well, that is Chicken Little right there. She is not so little anymore. She's looking pretty, you be looking pretty. And there's Sam's bar rock. She's as hand, she is as pretty as can be. I definitely have a thing for Rhode Island Red though. There's Gabby's girl. Sophie's girl in the back. You guys want out? Are you bored? I'm sorry, but at least you're cool. I really want to start working on the chickens bigger area. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with them yet. Like don't want to put them out there without Ruby. I don't want to put them out there without a, a lid. Like I, I want to enclose it so that they can't fly up and that nothing can fly in. Cause lots of times we're going to be at the trailer during the day. Come on Ruby. Oh, she's in here. Um, so yeah, like I, I want it to have an enclosed, like I want it to be enclosed, but that's going to be a huge expense. And also I want it to be like a really big area. So it might be something that we like do a little piece at a time, or it might be something that we open up and it doesn't have a closed top right at the beginning. And then eventually like as it gets into fall, we close the top in. I don't know. I'm excited to get started on it though. Well, hello kitty. Are you enjoying some sun? Are you enjoying the cool breeze? Say hello. Who knows the name of our kitty? only way to access your dreams is to live your own life be your own self make your own choices do what is right for you it's the only way if you are going along in life and following your friends being who you think the world thinks that you should be you're never going to get there you're never going to find the life that god has planned for you you need to be you just be you it is the single most important thing on earth because without recognizing your own strengths and your own weaknesses and your own likes and your own god-given talents you're never going to live your authentic life and once you reach your own authentic life once you start living that life you will never look back. It will be the happiest you will ever be. And until you start living your own authentic life, you are always gonna be searching for something different, searching for something new. You're not going to feel, feel that same level of fulfillment with your life until you're living the life that's meant for you. So my challenge for each of you today is to go out there and find one thing that you love to do, something that makes your heart sing, and then do it. Just do it, or plan to do it, make time to do it, and just go from there.
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.